Hello and welcome back to 3 Plus 1 Media where we talk about people, politics, and pop culture and today in People, we're talking about Simon Gabadia, the husband of Portia Williams Gabadia. And look, I'm going to keep it brief just like Portia did in sharing the news that it has been announced that Portia Williams is getting a divorce from Simon Gabadia. Now, this comes to many as a surprise, but not necessarily to me. Now, it was announced a couple of weeks ago that Portia Williams would be returning for the 16th season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Shortly thereafter, news broke that her husband, Simon Gobadia, had been denied United States citizenship. Now, what does that mean exactly? And why was he denied citizenship if he's married to a citizen? Well, the process is not an easy one. That's a huge battle that immigration advocates are fighting for right now. A number of blogs, websites, and gossip-based news sources gave a deep dive into allegations that Simon Gulbadia was somewhat of a fraudster, a real scammer, if you will. Child, uh, more money come with more fucking problems, bitch. So Simon Gulbadia, right, Portia husband. Mm-hmm. So child, apparently um, they playing with a citizenship because he was a young scammer, as they would like to say. He did bank fraud, credit card fraud, identity fraud, fake marriages, and multiple felonies. One thing about it, two things for sure. If you're in the spotlight, they're going to dig up all your fucking past. So if you look to the top, he originally got denied on an application on July 27, 2022. And he originally entered the United States on August 11th, 1982. He re-entered on June 1986. And it looks like he has a history of overstaying his um, visa. And then in September 1987, he was arrested for a bank and credit card fraud and pleaded guilty to a felony offense. He was arrested in January 1989 for an unauthorized use of a vehicle and then again in May 1990 for fraud. And then when he applied in 1985, um, it was based on his marriage, but apparently the marriage was never consummated. Damn, bitch, in January 1991, he committed credit card fraud. Okay. Then, child, it looks like he used somebody else's identity in 1988 to try to get temporary resident status. And he did not include his criminal history on the application. And then when it was approved, because he lied, he was given a registration card as a temporary resident on July 25th, 1991. He received his permanent residency card on April 27th, 1992. Then on December 22nd, 2016, he applied for neutralization under his second identity and was denied because his temporary resident status was unlawfully granted and then on december 31st 2020 he filed another application for naturalization and following the interview he again got denied because he had not been lawfully admitted for permanent residence his temporary residence status achieved through the saw program and benefits had been based on a different identity child he just is fraudulent then he filed a complaint on march 13 2023 in this court and asked the court to vacate the denial and remand with instructions to grant his application he got some fucking audacity you have been lying to all these damn people and then you will be like give me the visa give me the citizenship no no people ain't giving you that shit child an immigration lawyer chimed in and said when you petition for citizenship the government can go back and ask us if your green card was lawfully obtained then she said from these facts it appears material facts were omitted which could have resulted in denial of his green card initially now he risks losing his green card and being put in deportation proceedings again but he has options if he qualifies such as lpr cancellation of removal child i know simon is just like damn maybe i shouldn't have did what the fuck i did and i don't know what portia gonna do if her man get deported god forbid for the sake of him and his family and his well-being i just hope that he's able to get approved for his citizenship because i feel like deportation in certain cases and most cases are wrong um now reports stated that this man came to the united states from nigeria on a six-month visitor's visa in 1982 returned to nigeria in 1985 after overstaying that visa uh, also, he was denied citizenship after marrying his first wife, Karan English, uh, way back in 1986. He then came back uh, to America, failed to return home, got deported in 1987, and was arrested for felony bank and credit card fraud. Now, these are things this man did as a younger man. He is now 59 years old. And 
I ha- would hope sincerely that he's worked all these problems out and has definitely left his scamming ways behind. And maybe even the scamming was very minor. Maybe it was not paying for your credit card charges. Maybe it was writing a bounce check or two. Let's just hope for the best and give this man, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Um, between 1988 and 1991, he used allegedly a fake identity on his temporary resident pass, and he also was arrested for unauthorized use of a vehicle and credit card fraud in 1990, uh, in 1991, and that resulted in his deportation in 1992. But this man is resilient um, and kept trying to find a way back. Now, note, Simon Gobadi applied for a green card in 1988. And it was eventually work, and eventually it worked its way through the immigration process and was approved. He returned to the United States on that green card, applied for citizenship, and was subsequently denied. And this is the bit of the kicker that's leading some people in the blogger space to say, is he going to get deported? He was denied citizenship in 2016 because his temporary resident status was unlawfully granted so he was given resident status although he had been deported but his application didn't catch up in the system back in the day and hence he was allowed to stay in america he applied again in 2020 and he applied again in 2022 every time denied he then had a complaint to challenge this decision in 2023 and that challenge has just been heard by the courts where he was once again recently denied all of this is what's now making this front page news again in the gossip world. Now, Portia Williams Gubadia is 42 years old, a little bit younger, well, significantly younger than Simon. And many people thought that she married this man for absolute love. I would have thought the exact same thing had I not watched Portia Families Matters. Listen, when I watched that show, it became, and I'm tell you something, if you don't know, I'm a Scorpio through and through and Portia Williams is a Gemini cancer cusp but I see a lot of cancer in her and a connection between a Scorpio and a cancer can be some real deep it's, it's usually it's very deep it's very real it's very emotional and it's it's just real it became apparent to me from watching Portia's family matters that Portia Williams loves Dennis McKinley she loved that hot dog man she loved that hot dog man and she loves that hot dog man or she loves that hot dog man either way it goes i just absolutely thought saw that radiating across the screen so i'm the whole time i was thinking to myself she's with simon for maybe his money maybe for what he's doing for her perhaps career but i didn't think it was because of love so i'm not surprised at this breaking news that she is leaving him I'm a little bit taken aback because to be honest and fair about it, I thought maybe just maybe Portia is also a part of the scam. But now I have a different theory that we can talk about um, after you see kind of a breakdown of how we got to where we are now from some of my favorite people on the TikTok. As soon as I heard the news about Simon and his scams, his citizenship, all that other stuff, I didn't read into it, but I'm like, yeah, Portia is leaving this man. Now, the fact that Portia announced her return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, then the news came out about Simon. Y'all, she earning a peach. She about to be the highest paid housewife in Atlanta, mainly because Candy has stepped down for a season or so. And I'm all, all, I'm, all I want to know is that, Portia, I hope you did not sign a prenup. I hope you get a nice large sums of cash in a divorce settlement because if not girl but anyways though um I, there's not much to say about fallon because did fallon get anything anyways there's no reason for her to stick beside this man because she has a child of her own she gotta she gotta do she gotta put her first but anyways i i i, I hope they're filming the real housewives of atlanta and I can't wait to hear the cast that is announced. Uh, I really wish Nene Leakes would join, but she ain't joining no Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her, her and Andy still beefing. But anyways, Portia girl, what's tea? I am giddy with glee. I feel vindicated all the time. I would come on here and speak about the mess 
that is Portia and Simon. And every single time, no, you're just jealous that she got a Nigerian man. And you're trying to gatekeep Amala and Kelewele. And it's because you don't want us to go to West Africa. That's all I would hear. But I know myself. And I know that my God prevails. And vindication, sweet vindication is always who? It's always Yah. I am here to announce as of 30 minutes ago, Portia Williams has filed from divorce from Simon after 15 months of marriage. Hmm. 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 Y'all really thought Lil Mama was gonna stick around when he was going through his immigration issues? She's like, once again, all seven of us who watched her spinoff, it was clear. It was clear this joint was not lasting. I, I, I wouldn't I didn't even give this marriage two years because I knew when the going gets tough, the peach juice gets go like everybody be so for real. Be for real. So they said that the marriage is coming to an end after over a year after they tie the knot. It absolutely makes sense why she went back on Bravo because she needed a job because Simon's money, I'm sure, was looking incredibly funny. So news of their split comes as rumors fly around about his citizen status. Because his wife is leaving, I'm sure he's never getting citizenship now. Um, the divorce is unrelated to recent allegations involving Simon's past. I think it's actually very wild. You came into somebody's house, you left with their husband, and there's a reason why their marriage didn't work. And you thought just because you had a fat butt, you know how many, you know how many got fat butts, it was gonna work. Like, yo. And I wanna say. I am never here for the dissolution of a marriage. I'm actually always an advocate for divorce. Like, if it's like if it's not your like, girl, go, go on. Don't ever let anybody tell you divorce is bad. If it's not working, you have to choose your happiness first. But it was evident. All she saw was the money and the flashing lights. She got into that marriage. The money was looking a little funny. The flashing lights was just veneers, and I knew it wasn't. I. I knew it. I knew it. Nobody believed me. And you guys can look at my past videos. I would say it all the time. This thing is not lasting. But everybody would be in my comments. I love Portia and Peach Juice and Portia, Portia, Portia and Portia, Portia. No, no. Once again, who's right? Yas right. Mm hmm. Because when it comes to mess, Yas gonna always be on time. All right. Bye, guys. What I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? I knew she was going to file for divorce. I knew she was not going to stay. Say what? Portia Williams files for divorce from Simon Gambodia after 15 months of marriage. Girl, you ain't even make it to two years. <laughs> I know Fallon is running up and down the hallways laughing her ass off. <laughs> this new season of Real Housewives is going to be climactic. Like, I am so ready for this shit. Now, Portia filed for divorce yesterday. Yesterday, okay? And they're saying that the news of the split comes as rumors fly around of Cambodian citizenship. And remember when I said this? There are so many questions I have for Portia. If Simon gets deported, he cannot stay. Are you leaving with him? That was the question that was everybody's mind. Was she going to stay with this man if he got deported? Portia ain't leaving the U.S. This is where she make her money. Now, they're saying that the cause of the split is an ongoing matter and it has nothing to do with Simon's citizenship or his legal problems, but we know that's a goddamn lie. Baby, this is the clear reason on why you leaving this man, okay? I don't know what you're going to get in the split. I don't know if you signed a prenup, but baby, I am here for the reason why. You need to go ahead and come out and tell us why y'all are divorcing because we know it's not the money. We know it's because he's getting deported. We know it's because of the legal matters. We know because you got to go on this show, sweetheart. And you ain't going to be able to dodge these bullets. So the best thing for you to do is say, I divorced him. That way, that show come back from everything. I ain't look stupid. I ain't stay. This shit is hilarious. It's not funny, but it's funny. Okay, it's funny. Portia! Portia, girl, this is how the hell you come back to a damn network. Overall talent deal with NBC Universal? Check. Real Housewives of Atlanta, check, check. Pending divorce from Nigerian scammer husband, bitch, check, check, and check. Church, Portia Williams done filed to divorce. 
whoever the hell she done married Thursday in Atlanta. Now this divorce filing comes just over a year after the wedding and Portia says it has absolutely nothing to do with all of his pending legal issues. Girl, stop. If you find out that your husband who you just married just over a year ago is an old scammer from the 80s, allegedly, about to be deported back to the motherland, probably, and you're still young and juicy based ass is about to be in a long distance relationship with a man who's very soon about to be building his own underground railroad from Nigeria to Atlanta. Wouldn't you file for divorce too? Baby, in the eternal words of Jim Carrey, my damn divorce would have been so smoke into that damn courthouse now Portia I'm prouder of you than a damn peacock hey NBC now y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this situation and we'll talk later I'm not happy about it but it's karma it is fucking karma you actually believe the way she got this man and how she handled the situation this shit was not gonna come back and bite her in the ass be fucking for real on top of that, sweetheart, she made claims that they weren't friends from the beginning. That bitch invited you to her house. Okay, you was in the midst of her and her husband. I don't give a fuck what is going on. Y'all should never have been together in the first goddamn place. You hid your engagement. Now, there are private people in this world. Like my friend Vicky May said, there are private people like Beyonce and Jay-Z. Those are private people. Portia is not a fucking private person. She gets paid off of her news hitting the air. So she hid this wedding. She hid this engagement for one simple reason. She didn't want people to judge her because she knew her ass was wrong. She saw dollar signs and she took advantage of that shit. And now that the money is about to be gone because Simon may be playing X, Y, and Z to US about these taxes and everything else he skipped out on. She don't want her money tied up in that shit. That's why she's trying to get the fuck out. <laughs> on top of that, this makes a great a great segue in returning back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, sweetheart. This ain't no downfall. This her come up. But it's karma because look, when you fuck over somebody, no matter if you really know them or not, it's going to come back to bite you in your ass. I'd be fucking humiliated if I was Portia. 15 months? 15 months. You got married way too fucking soon. You really thought you knew this man and now you sitting there with cake in your goddamn face. Yes, I'm laughing. Karma is a bitch and it will bite you in the worst fucking way. And although Portia was posting all about her best life, saying that Portia Williams is coming back, Portia Gwabadi is coming back, Portia Williams and Simon Gwabadi was all over the yachts, all over the boats, all over the Ferrari jet set, ski, whatever it was, I'm still not surprised. I was thinking that maybe Portia knew about this man's past because I can't, I can't imagine a woman of Portia Williams celebrity status marrying someone that she has not had thoroughly researched. Uh, so I thought that she had to have known about his previous attempts to get citizenship that were denied, his previous allegations of fraudulent activity that had been obviously of which he was obviously not exonerated from. So I thought to myself, she had to know. And she was, you know, so it, should, it shouldn't have come as a surprise to her. Now, then I'm thinking to myself, maybe she was even a part, you know, maybe there's still a level of scamming going. I don't know how Simon has gotten his money. I think there's something about trucking and moving that I heard on the interview with his ex-wife, Fallon. But, I mean, again, it seems to be lavish. I mean, personally, I knew that Simon was fraudulent when I saw this image, like there's no way. Look, I don't know what type of military service this man had in the nation of Nigeria, but I don't know many decorated heroes that get all this regalia and all of that who did not die in the on the battlefield. This man is alive and well and walking around with brand new shiny sparkling veneers, and I just can't see that any of this regalia was real. I just can't see it. It looked very fraudulent to me, and it looked like Porsche was right there with the fraud the whole entire time. Now I'm thinking to myself, well, who has put all this information back in the forefront, gave it to Neighborhood Talk, and made it front page news? What if it was Portia Williams Guabadia herself? This gives her a great storyline and a lot of press leading up to her return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's giving producers and the entire show a lot of material to also work with before actual filming begins. It just all seems to be working in Portia's favor for her to emerge as the breakout star of season 16. I have never seen Portia Williams as a star of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I see her as a star. Do not say, I'm not saying she is starless like um, someone, I think it was Nene Leake said. I am not saying that she is starless. 
I am saying that she, I've never seen her as the star of the franchise. But, and when they announce her return, I'm thinking to myself, the fans are setting her up for failure because there's no way she is going to be able to carry this franchise either as an anchor or as the breakout star uh, or as Carlos Kingdom say, the force multiplier, even though force multiplier is not the appropriate term for what he's trying to make it, like what he's calling it. Like that's not what a force multiplier is, but that's neither here nor there. It is, uh, but now this gives her some great material. It gives a lot for these producers to build a show around. And it really does kind of make me believe that Portia Williams is going to give um, Bravo and Real Housewives fans a season that they will not soon forget. What do you think about these revelations and the impact it's going to have on your favorite Bravo show. You guys, no matter when you see this, no matter where you see this, I hope that you are well. I hope that you are blessed. And I hope that no matter what you do, you keep pushing. I'll see you soon.